change the subject. Well, that definition certainly applies to the home calling Razorback fans from Arkansas, where football is much more than mere sport. It is a way of life. Georgia fans are equally as boisterous. Athens is a small Georgia town, but on football Saturdays, it just might be America's loudest city. Tonight, the roar of the crowd will rise from Liberty Bowl Memorial Stadium right here in Memphis, Tennessee. The Razorbacks to kick it away, and it'll be Kendall Trainer back deep. Cassius Osborne and Rodney Hampton. We are set to go the 29th annual Liberty Bowl from Memphis, Tennessee is underway. Sidewinding kick taken two yards deep by Osborne. He's coming out. Upended at the 20 yard line. Now, George's offense, James Jackson tonight will try and do what no Georgia team has ever done, and that is beat Arkansas. In order to accomplish that beat, the Bulldogs will need a very strong performance, however. From number 32, Lars Tate. He makes the offense go. First and 10 at the 20 yard line. From the I formation. Pitch the first man through. It is Alfonso Ellis. Now, Arkansas's defense, it begins with Tony Cherico, a consensus All-American. He has got to find a way to interrupt the cadence of that Georgia attack. The linebacking core, they are good ones. Eric Woodard and Ricky Williams are the mainstays there, but it may come down, Dave, to how well the secondary reacts to Georgia's rushing attack. These guys cannot lay back. They have got to play the rush well. Second down and five. That's Tate with the record. Out across the 29, up near the 30-yard line. Run. Out across the 31-yard line. Of course, Tony Cherico <laughs> is used to that. He has been double teamed, triple teamed all year long. Jackson to put it up. It is complete to Sean Thomas. And he has got another Georgia first down. They kind of bend, but they don't break, they say. Lars Tate to the line of scrimmage. Spins his way to the 45, maybe. Is out for disciplinary reasons, as is Joey Hester. Rolling left, Jackson puts it up, and it's intercepted by Arkansas. First time Arkansas has seen the football tonight. They have it at their own 48-yard line after the turnover by Georgia. Play action. Greg Thomas looking downfield. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and he is stuck. And I look for him to throw the ball tonight. Number 35 is James Rouse. He was tops in the Southwest Conference in scoring, and you can bet he'll see the ball all night long. If Thomas does put it in the air, Derek Russell and Billy Easton are the guys to watch. And that front line is solid, anchored by Freddie Childress, who spent a season blowing holes for James Rouse. There's a pitch. The ball is on the surface. It is picked up, and Greg Thomas will have to find a way to beat that consistency. Thomas to put it up. Throws downfield, and he overthrows. A little punt it away for the Razorbacks. In 58 punts this year, he averaged nearly 40 yards of punt. From the 14-yard line, a fair catch called for it. Oh, man. A personal foul against Arkansas. It's first and ten. The ball at the 30-yard line from the I formation. Lars Tate is the tailback. He's got the football. And he is knocked off his feet at the 31-yard line by Eric Witted. The second down and nine from the 31-yard line. 10-35 to play in the first quarter. No score. Arkansas and Georgia. Jackson looking deep. He's going down the center of the field. And he overthrows Cassius Osborne. John Thomas wide to the right. Jackson, not pressured at all, throws sideline, and he hits John Thomas for the second time tonight. First punt tonight. Duke's only 10 punts all year. And he lets it go. A low spiral taken to the 25-yard line by Tim Horton. He's got across the 47 down at the 40-yard line, Mark Lewis. Arkansas has the football, and it is first and ten from their own 40-yard line. It's a fumble on the play, and Georgia indicates they have recovered. 
Well, one of the Georgia players come up holding the ball. I can't believe they're going to get it back to Arkansas. And I think it was Guthrie. Let's see what happens on this play. There's the fumble into the line. Now there's the mad scramble. You're going to see 54 Guthrie come up with the ball. This is unbelievable. He's fighting down there. He's on the left of your screen in the pile. Said, nope, we're going to give it back to, back to Arkansas. Second down and 10. Thomas lets it go. Goes into double coverage. And it is almost completed and almost picked off. Now Georgia's defensive line, it is a good one. Anchored by Bill Goldberg, but it's the linebacking threesome. It is where their strength is. Number 42, John Brentley leads the dogs in tackle. The defensive backs will be tied in two areas tonight, I believe. Third and ten. The fullback, Sammy Van Dyke. And oh, the hall. They're going to be short by a couple of inches. This is a big play. If they stop them, if Georgia can stop them, they've got first down in, in Arkansas territory. I don't know. There he is, 42. Now watch him in there. Bam, head to head. You can see if he made it, he didn't make it by much over an inch. What a hit. First down, Razor Banks. There's the pitch. James Rouse catching across the 40-yard line, and he's bounced out of bounds by Rusty Beasley. Much more than we saw in the Southwest Conference. Second down and five. Thomas looks to let it fly. Close sideline is in and out of the hands. Greg Thomas, he is 0 for 3 passing. Arkansas third and five. Sideline. This time it is caught. And a flag. I can't believe that they call roughing. He was on his knees. It's going to call dead ball foul, personal foul against Georgia. Receiver, he's on his knees. Now watch right there. See, and there's the hit. Oh, that's hardly a hit. Gosh. The ball at the 25-yard line. The Razor X of Arkansas are on the move. Give first man through. That's the fullback, Sammy Van Dyke, and he is knocked to the ground. Second down and high from the 20. This is the 10th play on this Arkansas drive. That is right. A flag is down at the 8-yard line. Let's see what we have to call here. That's holding. That'll go against Arkansas. A third down and 11. With five defensive backs. Thomas looking. And he won't get it away. Kendall Trainer from 44 yards away. It's got plenty of distance, and he is on target. Six minutes, 37 seconds to play in the first period here in Memphis. Kendall Trainer has just taken his hogs to a three nothing lead over the dogs. He lets it sail. Off Rodney Hampton, he picks it up on the seven yard line. He's out across the 20 and met at the 23-yard line. From the eye formation, that's the tight end coming to the near side and setting. Jackson throws in and out of the hands of the tight end. 6.23 to go, first quarter. From the 23-yard line, it's second down and 10, Georgia. Lars Tate, third and nine, the ball at the 24-yard line. Boy, Arkansas's defense has been outstanding early on. Jackson looking, good protection, throws out to Tate. He's still on his feet across the 23-yard line, and he'll be, oh, so close to the first down. Jackson coming near side, turns it upfield. He's still on his feet. He tries to outrun, and he'll get to the 40-yard line, and he cannot get around Otis Lloyd. Getting to eight yards, but good thing that Otis Lloyd had that great speed to bring him down. From the 42, it is second down in two. And again, it is Tate coming head on, and he's got the first down. High formation again, the tight end, Troy Sadowski comes to the near side and sets. First and 10 from the 47. Misdirection, play action. Jackson coming back near side. 
Oh, the beat put on the one Kerry Owens. Tate out of the ball game. It is now Rodney Hampton and the fullback, Brian Cleveland. That's Hampton, and he is another good one at the line of scrimmage. Brian Cleveland, the freshman fullback. Well, and you'll be the tailback spot next year with Lawrence State graduating. Rodney Hampton, another freshman. Jackson <laughs> Crow, wide open. John Thomas loses the football at the 14-yard line. Well, I believe it was out of bounds. It was out of bounds. A gain of 17. The dogs are on the move. At the 19-yard line, it is first and 10. That is Alonzo Ellis. Where George Hill, this is their 12th play on this drive. Second and eight, one three, three remaining in the opening period. They trail three nothing. That's Tate. Tries to turn it inside at the 15 yard line. Third down and three. Jackson, he's going to it. John Thomas has the football the Arkansas three-yard line. They have come away empty only eight times all year. First and goal, the Bulldogs. Straight ahead, it is Hiawatha Berry. So, and after one quarter of play here in Memphis, it's the ball three, the Bulldogs nothing. We'd like to order our stations down the line that the next break will be a station break. 47 touchdowns via the rush, only seven through the airways. And they're going on the ground this time, and that'll be stuck to it. Third down and one. That's Tate up, but over a touchdown, Georgia! Comes down, back down on his feet. John Casey, filling in for the suspended. Steve Crumley boots it through. That's amazing. Now watch, it's going to come right at you. You've got to step up. You've got to hit. But watch Tate up high, keeps his feet up underneath him, right back down. Touchdown, Georgia. 14-24 remaining in the first half here at Liberty Bowl Memorial Stadium. It's Georgia 7, Arkansas 3. Into an ankle. They're tightening it up on the outside of the shoe. Casey lets it fly and is taken at the four-yard line by James Rouse. Rouse out across the 23, near the 24. Full house backfield. Coming near side. Thomas pitches at the last moment. And at the 29th, Liberty Bowl, we'll talk more about Marcus. The game wears on. 13-37 to play on the first half. Thomas throws right, looking downfield, still looking for somebody to break free. Throws, and it is almost intercepted. Rusty Beasley. Third down and another. Thomas dropped back. Throws. And it's complete. Tim Horton, the sophomore. First down. Thomas. Oh, what a move. He put on Terry Webster. Yeah, this is the fullback. That's Sammy Van Dyke. 350. And Jonas will be back next year. Van Dyke and Bill Goldberg. Second down and about a foot. Pardon me, second down and 11. The give is to Joe Johnson. And nobody out there to help him out. The rover back, Will Jones. Along the line and make that pitch go when there's nobody out there to block. Thomas looking, looking, throws, and he had a receiver wide open. Jim Kessinger, this trainer, high spiraling foot, fair catch call for it at the 19-yard line. They're telling the Georgia players exactly what they're doing on offense. Uh-oh, gadget play, letting it fly, is Jackson, and it is intercepted by Arkansas. as you said on that first one, 
Let's see the fact that they can capitalize. They're going to the air. And Thomas completes the pass to the 42-yard line. But as I said at the outset, if Greg Thomas can get hot, it may be the difference tonight. That's Rouse. Rouse only six yards thus far in the ball game. He has the ball again, and he is met after a gain of two by Terry Webster. Which ball in formation? The give the first man through. It is the fullback Sammy Van Dyke. Oh, man on man, one on one football. There's the wish ball in formation coming to the near side. Thomas. He keeps up the ball and is ducked up his feet at the 24-yard line. Almost have to dance with the girl you take. That's right. And look at that juke step to the 20-yard line. But lifetime against the Bulldogs, the Razorbacks 2-0. There's the old-fashioned counter. intercepted by Mark Vincent. But his last game a year ago while at SMU was against these Hogs. And now he has a chance to end his career against Arkansas. Trainer, end over end, and he did not hit that ball well at all. It is no good. And the Bulldogs have the football. Rodney Hampton and Brian Cleveland are the setbacks. Near side. The pains of Thomas and carries the ball out to the 37 yard line. And oh, what a clearing block. <laughs> a gain of 18. All right. 6 1 remaining in the first half. Clock running out of the eye formation. Coming near side. It's Rodney Hampton. The timing was terrible. <laughs> Hampton spins. Spins again, but cannot get away from Steve Atwater. A flag is thrown. Referee says start the clock. Maybe they tuck start. those flags in. <laughs> Coming to the other side, it's Cassius Osborne. Jackson rolls right, throws, intended for John Thomas. Second down and 10 from the 49. Again to the other side, here comes Cassius Osborne. Again to Rodney Hampton. He'll lose two. They're down now in 12. Pass is complete to John Thomas. Anthony Cooney wrestles him out of bounds. And a little more than one, and the Bulldogs are going for it. Hampton. He's got the first down. Clock ring 4 10 to play in the first half. First and 10 from the 39. James Jackson rolls right, pumps once. Now he's going deep. Pass intended for Cassius Osborne. Sean Hummings, the freshman split in, and John Thomas. Both to the bottom of your screen as Hummings in motion. The give, however, is to Rodney Hampton. And he stumbles. Third down at a little less than 10 yards. Jackson drops straight back, under throws the coverage. It's Rodney Hampton out of the backfield, and he'll be stopped way shy of the first down. John Casey is on to attempt the 49-yarder. He only had two attempts all year. He made one. It was from 35 yards down. Oh, oh, does he have the distance? But it is wide to the right. He had loads of distance. They took 3.44 off the clock and a 49-yard field goal sale wide. About mirror images of one another. That's Thomas. He is looking deep. And it is almost caught. <laughs> 229 to play in the first half. Again, Thomas wants to go to the air. He's got a receiver at the 42-yard line. It is James Rouse who takes it out across the 40 near the 42. And it's rarely to see a team that can block for the wishbone and still block effectively for the drop back pass. That's James Rouse. When you're pass blocking, you're back on your heels, and you're sitting back trying not to get faked out. Thomas drops straight back. He has got a receiver at the 45-yard line. Tim Horton has the football. Derek Russell going to the top of your screen. There's the time remaining in the first half. Thomas sprints right, looking downfield. Nobody's there. He's going to run the football.
but great athletic ability by Greg Thomas. First down, Thomas pitches. That's why it takes wrenches down near the 12, and you can hear the popping at home. <laughs> Beautiful. 106 to play. Here comes Rouse up here the <laughs> nine-yard line. 37-36. There's the time. Thomas. It's up. He's at the top. At the four-yard line, it's Rodney Hampton. Looking for a block. And he won't get any help at all from Cassius Osborne. As a bruised thigh. Uncertain as to whether we will see Tony in the second half. Oh, the Razorbacks need him desperately. That's Lars Tate. He's just going to let it run out here at halftime and be thankful to be only down three points. Anything surprised you thus far? Oh, boy, I think the surprise is Thomas is running. And running effectively. The Razorbacks of Arkansas at halftime. Look at the Bulldogs of Georgia. 10 to 7. We'll return with more on Liberty Bowl Memorial Stadium. Georgia will kick it away, and it is John Casey who will do the booting. And over in. Take it at the 11-yard line. That's James Rouse. Runs into his own player and then into a couple of Bulldogs. What a night so far in the first half for Greg Thomas. There's Rouse. Here he's on his feet. Smashes his way across the 43-yard line. Now that's also why Arkansas this year averaged 266 rushing yards a game. And he's on his way again across the midfield stripe and tackled at the 48-yard line. Second down, let's call it one, from the 49-yard line. Arkansas's run the same play basically three times in a row. First down. That's Rouse. Boy, does he run close to the ground. And they have outstanding programs. Thomas looking. He's got room to run. But he runs perhaps a second too long. John Brantley. We're talking about kicker John Crumley and punter Joey Hester. And two weeks ago, he suspended the SEC's top punt returner, A. Lewis, straight ahead. You're supposed to go with it, but he played the ball very well, and he, in fact, did stop him. to do that in the pros. Oh, yes. Johnny Hughes. You, you bet. That is the crack. That is Thomas that scored for the second time tonight. <laughs> Kendall Trainer from the hold of Jim Simpson. And that's about as perfect as point actors can get. He's through the price perfectly. Now watch Thomas on this play. Watch the spin at the end. You talk about foot speed. Look at it. Twist right inside. He's in the end zone. Leaves him in the dust. The Georgia Bulldogs second against the rush in the Southeast Conference behind only Auburn. We'll be right back after these messages from your local station. <laughs> Trainer, boy, did he get his foot into that one. And seven yards deep from the eye formation. Lars Tate is the tailback. He's got the football. And he is wrapped up at the 23-yard line. Second down and seven from the 23. That's a fine to lost the fullback. And oh, is he wrapped up at the 20-yard line. That's the flat. Now Fountain Doris turns the corner and is wrestled down. Oh, off the side of his foot. And it hits the rocket zone. Where's the back of the building? The Bulldogs have recovered the football.
Two wide receivers stacked to the top of your screen. And now in motion, the tight end, Troy Sadowski. The give, Lars Tate, and look at the Razorback pursuit! Second down, and the 11 now from the eye. Play action, coming near side, complete the catch with Osborne. He's a custom midfield striker for the second time in this ball game. He simply runs out from under his own feet. So much more than Arkansas did this year. Yeah, nine of their 11 games on the real grass. There goes Osborne to the top of your screen. James Jackson looks to put it in the air. He throws wide open. He has a receiver at the 31-yard line, and it is Osborne. He only 15 catches all year, but his per catch average 20 yards. That's Tate. He hammers inside the 30. And those players, both these teams have got exceptional athletes. That's why they're covered with stars. And through the fullback, Alfonso Ellis. The Bulldogs are moving the football. And now the flag is down. I think it's a false start. Well, that's one of the few plays that can stop a play. A little more than eight. On the 31-yard line. James Jackson throws. And it is all almost intercepted by Steve Atwater, intended for his tight end, Troy Sadowski. This is John Casey. He is 0 for 1 in the ball game. From 47 yards out, no chance at all. There's the loose ball on the left wing. Second pitch for James Rouse. He's across the 32 out near the 33. He gets the entire offense for this Razorback team tonight. Second down and seven. The ball at the 33. And here comes Thomas on a quarterback draw. Out near the 40-yard line. He'll be about a yard shy of the first down. I think it is holding against Arkansas. That's the signal. Holding against Arkansas. Now, along with Brian White, the center. He's also a senior in the right tackle, Chris Beckett. That's Rouse. Bangs across the 31-yard line. Mike Brown. Who would have expected 26 yards out of Lars Tate tonight? Only 26 yards. Thomas. The pass is knocked away. And in college football. Kendall Trainer. High end over and punt. It is taken by Mike Bowen. And he won't get very far. And that signals a clip, Bill, and it is against Georgia. So a year in Atlantic City, and then on to Memphis. And oh, what a bowl it has been. Jackson throws, and it's cut by Osborne. And he has rolled out of bounds. 4.32 remaining. There goes Osborne in motion. Jackson, all the time in the world. He's going to turn it upfield. A game of seven. It's second and three. The ball at the 44-yard line. Three, 46 to play. Third period. Here comes the reverse. Patrick Osborne. Gets by the man. And he's cut for three. The defensive corner. Coming to your side. There is Rodney Hampton. The flag is down. And so is Hampton at the 24. But the running back was already be beyond where the holding yes. was. First down now and 20 from the eye. Jackson pressure throws it out to Rodney Tate. On his feet at the 42-yard line and stopped there. Not try to get it all back in one. Two short intermediate passes, maybe one good run. has tailored that defense to the personnel at hand. Again from the eye, here comes the Bulldogs. Flares it to the near side. It is cut by Hampton. And oh, does he take a hit at the 23? That can play defense, then you play man-to-man -man defense and play that run solid. Wide receivers on the top of your screen, Osborne and Thomas. The kid is still Hampton. And the freshman carries it inside the 15 down near the 14. Oh. Jackson sprints out of trouble, spins, and then loses his balance at the 12-yard line. 
and it is Arkansas leading Georgia 17 to 7 and again. The Arkansas medical staff working on nose tackle Tony Jericho. Second down and eight. Coming to the side, it is Hampton who stretches his way to the 7-yard line. Third down and three to the 7-yard line. Rolling right. Jackson looking, still looking at him and dives inside the 8 near the 7. We'll find it out in just a moment as the third quarter has come to a close. When we come back to look at the final 15 minutes of the Liberty Bowl. Now he's going to play in a couple of bowl games if that right leg is all right. From 24 yards away. Casey. He punched it through. For the Bulldogs. With 14.57 to play in this ball game. Are now within a touchdown. It's Arkansas 17. Georgia 10. In Arkansas leading the Bulldogs 17 to 10. And Casey boots it away. Rouse over his shoulder at the one-yard line, and here come the Razorbacks. He'll be tackled shy of the 20-yard line. Razorback fans, who has made the trek from Fayetteville. And he's counter to James Rouse. He's out across the 22-yard line. Tears down in a real credit against Julie and that coaching staff. A well-conditioned Georgia Bulldog team. Thomas springing right. And that's right, they've got their quota and no more, say the Bulldogs. But Thomas has another idea. The Bulldogs have picked up by the Bulldogs. <laughs> 13 point in the meeting of this ball game. Georgia on the attack again, and here comes Lawrence Tate. He is down with the line of scrimmage. Second down and 11. The ball at the 40 yard line. The press takes it inside the 38, down near the 37, a gain of three. You just can't stay warm with it. Is it cold? Oh, it's a little nippy out here. <laughs> oh, indeed it is. That's Osborne in motion. And the near side, James Jackson, he turns the corner. And he's at the 30-yard line, and oh, does Jackson get pounded? <laughs> you guys probably did show movies on his back when you were with the Raiders. Oh, boy, I think he's about a minute short. And we're going to have another fourth down, but... Tate. It is the tailback. The kids straight ahead to Hiawatha Valley. He's got the first down and more. First and 10 from the 26. 11 30 remaining in the ball game. Straight ahead. Here comes Ross Tate from the 10-yard line. There's the difference that we talked about. Look at that fourth quarter. 106 points. Their opponents have only scored 37. And it takes up the football. Turns on the top. Second down and five. Victory! John Casey, the freshman, the tie this ball game, and he's got it. 10-23 remaining in the 29th Liberty Bowl. As we told you at the outset, the Liberty Bowl is known for close studies to close ball games, and it can't get any closer to this. That bell cracked. How'd you know that? Oh, I'm a good reader. <laughs> Here comes Ross. He's going to take it up. And the Bulldogs are fucking at the turn yard line. He's got the junkyard dogs on offense, the bones for great plays. Ugh. Greg Thomas across the 15, out near the 18. Something in the lower leg. There's the wishbone offense for Arkansas. The gym. And it's Joe Johnson, the junior left half back. He is out across the 27. They had to control the great linebackers of Georgia. Again, the wishbone is set. Thomas puts it in, pulls it out, looks to turn the corner, and so he's out across the 32 and here's the 33. This year he said, I've matured, I'm just going to be a good, clean-cut kid. They call him Rambo. Straight ahead, Barry Buster. Both these teams, I want to tell you, are well-schooled, they're well-prepared, and they're playing both of them are playing great football, great defense by Georgia. When the other team has just scored 10 straight points, 
You need a big play. <laughs> and that is Barry Foster for the third consecutive time. Georgia at a 17. Oh, how backfield on third and four from the 47. Connor straight to the field. It's a tough one. It feels right still on his feet. And he's got the first down and more. But you know, both these schools, I want to make one quick statement clear. I'll make it after this play. And it's a counter run. Oh, he's put up by Larry Brown. Between 16 and 17 years of your life, you don't have that problem to do with to you anymore. Thomas drops back. At the 35 yard line, the fight is no instant. Arkansas 6 of 14, 30 down after two days completed. You are right, and they have the first down. Well, who's going to go? 13 13, so they know what it's like. Kendall Trainer. He's got the distance, and it is no good, no good. Greg Thomas, he throws, and it's intercepted. Jackson with time, all the time in the world throws, he has the 24-yard line. Lewis the snap. Who sets it? Casey lets it fly. And it's good. Nine out of ten coming into this game. We're decided by a touchdown or less. And now 10 of the last 11 Liberty Bowls.